What's up guys? My name is Tammy. My name is David Anderson. It's Jillian Simmons. My name is Johnny Holland. It's Milton Harris from Hustle Fit. This right here is the Rogers. My name is David Anderson and this is my boss life. Anderson is a serial entrepreneur. What's a serial entrepreneur, you ask? A serial entrepreneur is someone who is about their boss life. i uh, never working for myself. Since the age of 16, I found a way to make money my way. Uh, and it would not always just be about the money, but finding a purpose that I really believe in, and finding out a way how to make money by doing that. You know what? I grew up in San Antonio. Unlike a lot of stories that you hear, uh, I actually had both of my parents growing up and they're still together. Very fortunate and blessed. But my parents at an early age, they both were blue collar workers. And they told me that, you know, you never want to work for anybody. So at probably the age seven, maybe before that, the first word I probably learned was entrepreneur thanks to my mom. And she instilled in me three things that she said promised me I'd be successful if I did these three things. What are they? Ambition, hard work, and stick to it. So definitely up shape who I am today. A couple of hats I wear are managing partner with 2010 Media LLC. 2010 Media is a full service marketing firm. Half the company does multimedia design. The other side of the company was found a niche in doing lifestyle marketing and consulting. Uh, outside of that, I'm also a promoter. Um, uh, outside of that, I'm also a bar and club owner, social job. I decided to become a boss when I realized Whatever my parents are doing, although they had great jobs, getting off late and always being the last kid to leave daycare, I said, you know what, that life isn't for me. So at 15 years old, I realized in San Antonio there was a void for hot urban parties. So I said, you know what, let me fill this void and do something I like, which is going parties. You're never, 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 never too young or too old to become your own boss. Once you have that, that epiphany, Go for it. You guys want to be a boss, start then, then. Start practicing, honing your skills. Get on your grind, get on your hustle. You know what? I don't even know what failure is. Uh, failure is when you decide to quit. I'm still going, I haven't quit yet. So I take failure as a life lesson learned. I was telling someone the other day, uh, looking back, it definitely was an easy journey. Definitely not something I want to do all over again. Um, at about 21, 20 years old, I wasn't sure if the route I was taking was the right route. I thought maybe maybe working for myself wasn't all it was cut out to be. I thought maybe I wanted to, I had a great degree from a great college. Maybe I wanted to go back and work on Wall Street. Back to a quick conversation with one of my uncles, a very influential and inspirational person in my life, I realized that I need to pursue my passion and go with what I know. And even after that, fast forward to about 24, 25, and living off of one dollar Wendy's meals, I know the double cheeseburger, 99 cents meal, man, is hard, but it was definitely worth the worth the grind. My day, there's no typical day. Okay. The typical day is waking up. Um, every day is a different grind, different hustle. Um, I wake up, go to the gym. That's a constant. Thank the Lord for opening my eyes. Then after that, it's, it's, it's a new challenge, a new, a new hurdle to, to overcome, a new bridge to cross. So there's no typical day. One day could go from being with the mayor, Nice Parker. Next day, maybe with another boss like Slim Thug. Next day, I'm volunteering in the community, giving back to the community that made me who I am today. Boss life just means someone's on top of their grind, someone's on top of their note. Someone that's a step ahead of the best, step ahead of the rest, and by being a step ahead of the rest, being the best. Um, not necessarily, you can be a boss, even if you work for somebody. You don't have to be a boss and not work for anybody. Now you can be a boss and say, hey, look, I wake up today, I, whoever I am, I'm gonna be the best that I can be. That's being a boss, owning up to, you, to, you, to your failures, owning up to how you can be better. Talk about titles that, it was never for me pursuing a title. So when I say, hey, look, I'm managing partner of Quentin Media, or I'm a promoter, or I'm a bar owner. Growing up, I never said I want to be any of those things. I said, hey, I want to be successful and good at 
this. So I saw these boys. So when I talk about wearing the 2010 media managing, managing partner hat, I'm talking about me, a group of guys. I said, hey, you can do my flyers for my club parties, but I don't have the money to pay you, so let me sell your services in exchange for that. When I talked about wearing a promoter hat, I never wanted to do a promoter. I didn't even know what a promoter was growing up. For me, it was about, hey, I want to go to hot parties. Um, owning social junkie. For me, it was never about owning a bar. It was, hey, I think there's this void in downtown Houston for a really cool sports bar. So that's why I tell anyone also wants to pursue being a boss or boss life, don't go after being a boss for the title. Go after being a boss because you, you have a bigger purpose that you're trying to fulfill.